Do you need help to pass your FTMO challenge account? Do you want to catch a move such as this? If you said yes to any of these two questions, then watch the video. Otherwise, this video is not for you. So in this video, I'm going to teach you this price action strategy that I use to this day and it works like magic. I even use it in my signals group and as a result, this member in my group has managed to pass his uh, £70,000 prop firm. So he just said, just pass phase two and I said, congrats, I'm so happy that the signal is helping you and he said, thank you very much for your help, Panda. So he's now funded £70,000. And I'm gonna teach you the exact strategy that I use to send signals. Remember, this is zero indicators and no EA. This is manual price uh, action trading. Very simple, it's got a few rules here and there, but it's nothing tricky and anyone can do it. Whether you're new to trading, whether you've been trading for two, three years, but there's no consistency, this is going to solve that problem. So pay attention, leave a like, Comment down below what is your favorite trading pair. For me personally, I think it's gold or CHF JPY. Been doing really good with it recently. So yeah, let's get started. All right, so the very first thing is we are going to look for mitigation. Mitigation is if price is going down, it's that blue candle before the down uh, movement, okay? So it's a candle that needs to get mitigated. If it doesn't happen, then the banks, the market makers, the hedge funds, they're going to be at a loss, which is not possible because they need to make money, you know. So if we look left, we can see that we have a very clean price action. Why? we got this area that price mitigated this candle. Look, it came down, then it went up. If it continued to go and up without mitigating this, they would have been at a loss because this is a sell position. Um, what else? So here, we have this blue candle before price went down. So again, it came up, meant to get that blue candle. Uh, another one over here, you know, just, just annotate. Annotating your chart, it's a big thing and it will help you. Uh, so I'm just doing that, uh, just getting a uh, good understanding of what's happening in the market, you know. Um, yeah, just do that. Uh, yeah, we have this over here. Okay, I'm just going to annotate there and try to explain to you guys. So here we have this unmitigated candle. Um, but this is an order block area and also a supply zone. This is a C type order block, okay? There is three types of order blocks that I call them A, B, C. And I talk about this in great details under order blocks rating, which falls under the smart money concept on the little Panda Forex trading course. Right now, there's a huge discount. If you want to take advantage of that, look in the comment section or in the description. It's 50% off. I think I'm never going to do a discount this big ever. So if you're very serious and you want to learn how I trade and copy my exact trade, then you need to get this course. It's going to be a lifesaver. Um, it's everything that I've learned over the years, filtered out the noise and the things that don't work. It's all uh, manual trading. So there's no EAs, nothing. It's just, you know, very good price action, smart money, support and resistance, a bit of everything put together. Uh, obviously, overall, it falls under uh, SMC, okay? But with my own twist here and there. So yeah, uh, so there's a big discount going. Take advantage of that if you want to take it. If you don't want to do it, no problem. So it's essentially that. So if you have a A rating or the block, the win rate will be between 70 to 80%. B rate will be 50 to 60%. And then a C type has a win rate of 10 to 30%. So by just knowing which kind of order block to go after, you can increase your win rate. There's more about this on the course. I don't want to ruin everything, you know, because it would be unfair to the people that have paid, you know. So that's a paid service if you want to take advantage of it. If you don't, no problem. As I said, this is coming under C type order block. So obviously I can't sell straight to it at here. But first, let's annotate it. What do we have? We have a break of this low. Okay, so here we have a BOS, okay. Uh, we have this area that is acting as potentially resistant, this trend line, or uh, as smart money would say, liquidity. Regardless, we're just gonna mark it, okay. Now, what we have here is once price broke structure to the downside, yeah, 
you can see that it is, it's mitigated pretty well. It has no reason to go up because, you know, we've got mitigation, 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 mitigation. The only place that price has a reason to come is this area. Even here, not much, you know, because it's been mitigated here. So if I zoom in properly, you can see that once we had this red candle, this blue candle with tapped into our area and mitigate that, okay? Uh, so there's no need for price to go in there unless we change the time frame, okay? We need to see what's happening. So price, essentially price made this area uh, as the recent low, okay? Uh, just let's put it here. And here we have this area of liquidity just below this order block or supply zone. And we're gonna mark it. This is liquidity in the form of relative highs, okay? Nothing tricky, very simple stuff. I wanted price to take this area, and as I said, this is a C type order block or supply zone. So there's gonna be manipulation. So I can't do this, okay? If it was an A type, I would typically do it something like this, and price would essentially respect it to the T. Yeah, it would be something like that. But I know that there's going to be manipulation because this is a C type, and we have this uh, area which is very important. I'm gonna explain now. And if you look on this side, which is always important to look left, we can see that there's no uh, no imbalance, nothing of that sort, you know. If there was like a massive imbalance candle, then potentially price came to fill that imbalance, that deficiency in price before moving up. But we don't have that. Uh, price is very correct, everything's looking very good. This is a very healthy price section when there's a lot of wicks, okay? So we know we have this area. So I waited for price to do this, okay? and then to see what's gonna happen, okay? And as I said, if price came to this area straight away, we're not going to do a sell. Why did I went on the 15 minute time frame? Okay, what we can see, I know we have a mitigation here on the one hour, but on the 15 minute, if we remove this, we can see that we got this very tiny area of imbalance and what we can see just below that imbalance let me write on this uh imbalance 15 m on a time minute 15 minute yeah there we go uh, hmm. okay let's just put it here uh 15 m imbalance okay imbalance area okay so that's something to keep an eye and the other thing is, what we can see is here, this line here, is the daily high, okay? Of whatever, the, if today is, for instance, Tuesday, this would be the daily high of Monday, so the previous daily high, okay? So let me just go around here and just write on it. Um, previous daily high, okay? Uh, something like that, okay? Uh, let me put it on the side so it's easier to see uh, on the right side, something like that, yeah? So everything's looking good. Uh, it was at this point when I sent a signal with a sell limit. I tried to send a buy limit or sell limit so it gives people a lot of time to prepare. But it's not always the case, sometimes we just do market execution. But a lot of my signals do come um, through a sell uh, buy limit and if you're interested in the little panda forex signals group I just released the stats for the month of February where we done plus 18.55 percent so if you joined us in February you would have passed your FTMO account uh, phase one and phase two January was 10 percent uh, December was zero percent November was 4.8 uh, October 20.5 and then so on yeah if you want to join yeah go to littlepandaforex.com forward slash signals all of these links will be in the comment section and also in the uh, in the description. And you essentially just click on that link, join Signals Group. It's hundred pound a month or hundred thirty dollars, whichever currency is better for you. Let me just put the exact figures that we use in the group. Okay, so this was the exact thing. It would have given you a one to four RR. So if you risk, for instance, let's say hundred dollars, once you hit the full target, you would have made four hundred dollars, four times your risk. Uh, we, as you can see, my stop loss is above this order block, way above it. It will take into account this imbalance if price decides to come there, uh, this daily high. And also, I will show you something else. Uh, let me, so, we let price do its thing. At this point, it triggered uh, a lot of the members in. If you have a, a bad spread because of your broker's not good at spread, 
then this one definitely would have got you in and and then look what happened here this is very important stuff okay um, a lot of people would think okay we broke past this trend line we had a nice break came back and now it's essentially doing a retest okay so retest you know break retest and they would go long and if you look at retail sentiment at the time the majority of the uh, retail traders they were buying this and I was selling it so that was a good thing so yeah anyway we was in this trade uh, don't worry about that you know look the daily high has been uh, taken out uh, and price came and filled the uh, imbalance as well everything looked good and as you can see where we targeting is essentially another good area which is the daily low of the previous day okay again good thing um, everything looked good we just have to be patient you know um, and yeah voila <laughs> look at that uh, we, ha we actually got out here there was a euro news and that was beautiful but price actually went much more and you would have got more than 8R but obviously that's something in hindsight you can't tell uh, we got a 1 to 4 so once again let me take you through this uh, one more time essentially what you're looking for is an area where there's a bit of build up of structure then we break past it okay and in here you're looking for some sort of order block or supply and once price starts to make a move it is very important that this low is protected so price doesn't come down that and then do that because that's when it would get invalidated instead you just want price to go 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 and then you would sell once you got the confirmation and boom very simple and yeah and this is how we do this and this is something i use uh, and a lot of my signals like 90 percent of my signals come through this kind of setup uh, you should go out there practice that and let me know in the comment section how it went for you uh, it works well i've been doing this for quite a while now i have some other strategies i use here and there as well which are far more complicated uh, but this is the most simplest form using price action and you can make your day trading uh, your day trading journey really good and profitable uh, so yeah go out there practice it and let me know peace